now they're going to cook gently now. Take a little bit of a breast. Beautiful. Hi everyone. So I'm going to be showing you what I'm going to be doing with this lovely farmhouse chicken. Okay, I'm going to be doing it on this beer can thing now. We've got something like 24, 25 degrees. So there's no way I'm going to be doing that in my kitchen. I'm going to be doing it on my Weber grill and I'm going to show you how. Okay, look, this is going to be real quick. I've got the chicken, look, it's all clean and everything. Now I'm just going to open its bum and stick a load of salt in, that's important. Look, load of salt. Okay, I'm going to got a few pepper grains here which I'm going to just crush like that. Give it some flavour. There you go. Some fresh rosemary from the garden. I didn't have any time, it's all dried up. I've got a nice piece of garlic, hard one, and just shove it in. There you go, whoops. Just boil it up a little bit, give it a good rubbing. Make it moist, give some kind of vehicle for cooking. Conducts the heat really well, oil, air doesn't. Melt it up, a little bit of butter in the microwave. Okay, now generously sprinkle with salt everywhere on the sides. Oops, my hands. Now I'm going to put a bit of white pepper. There you go. Now give it a bit of extra flavour. It's paprika, give it a little bit of colour as well, it helps it colour it, not too much. A little bit on the breast, there you go. Now, finally finish off the old Herb de Provence, which are robust, beautiful herbs. Okay, that's how it does. There you go. Yeah, lightly sprinkled up. Done. Let's get my special thing. Okay, and put it in like so. There you go. Now we're ready to go. Stuff that all in. There you go. That's secure, that's going to go into the barbecue. Put a bit more butter on. There you go, finish it off. Be generous. For the accompaniment, I've just simply peeled a few carrots there and some potatoes. I'm just going to cut them into relatively even sizes. There you go, so they cook nicely. I'll just stick that onto a plate for now. Okay, and the carrots. Just cut them into sensible sizes. Okay, my chicken. I'm gonna throw my potatoes in. There you go. My carrots. There you go. And all I'm gonna do now, a little bit of extra flavour. Don't peel it. Again, just give it a little crack, chuck it in. And that is done. We're going to put, so I've got some duck fat and um, butter, which duck fat goes beautiful with potatoes. So duck fat, that really does impart beautiful flavour. All we've got to do is a bit of salt and pepper and just wash the hands. Generous amount of salt. That's it. And a bit of pepper, pepper. And we're done. I'm just going to get a little bit more olive oil. Make it. There you go. And now that's going straight into our Weber grill. The grill's been heating up for about half an hour now. It's great. It's at 250 degrees uh, centigrade. Um, or what is that? 500 Fahrenheit. So now I've got the three gas burners here. Three gas burners now. And I want to turn this into an oven is to make it into an oven, I'm going to turn off the middle burner, okay, so that it's got an airflow and it becomes like an oven, so in the middle there's no heat to the side they've got that. And so I'm just going to chuck my bird in like that, shut the lid like that, and I'm going to walk away, it's going to take about an hour and 15 minutes I would say. We're coming back now, we're still cruising at 200 or 400 degrees Fahrenheit, now we're just going to have a little check on it, that's looking good. I'm going to give it a little turn around for even heat, just like so, give that a little move about. So now I'm going to shut that down. 
I'm just going to chuck in about a cup, a cup and a half of chicken stock and that is so that I can uh, un unstick all the fond and to keep the potatoes nice and moist, making them easily cooked. I'm just going to show you now how I make my chicken stock. Chicken stock, very easy. This is my favourite cheat. Voilà, I love this. It's like a liquid. And what's so good about it is it's very natural. There's no artificial flavourings in it or anything like that. But all I'm going to do is just take about a tablespoon of that. There you go. Done. And then some boiling water. About a cup and a half, something like that. And that's it. After about an hour, I've had to take the vegetables out. They're ready to go because they're cooked. One hour and 15 minutes, it's ready to go. We're going to pull it now and let it rest for a few minutes. Okay, so we've got the chicken now. Look, it's just come out. It's perfect. An hour and 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, it's done. And what's interesting here is that is all inedible. That's where all the vegetables and everything's cooking. But it's in here. It collects. Look at that beautiful juice. And that's what we're going to be using. Now, we're just going to cut it into eight pieces. Down the middle, cartridge, open. There you've got all your herbs and everything. Down the side of the backbone. Done. The other side of the backbone. Done. Okay, let's get rid of that. Backbone. Anything so that's for me. Now, slice off the leg. Cut it again through the joint, like so. There you go. The breast. Cut. There you go. Beautiful. Same thing here. Breast, uh, sorry, leg. Down through here, the joints. Take a little bit of a breast. We'll serve out one portion. Okay, let's be generous. I'll take a nice juicy breast and a nice little thigh. There you go. Two potatoes. Two potatoes. A few carrots. Finish off with the lovely, beautiful juices. Onto the chicken. Beautiful. Okay, so now we're going to tuck in. Beautiful. Here we go. Try some of these potatoes. Oh, juicy. Mmm. That is good. Let's have some chicken. Maximum flavour for little effort. And they can just decided to do that just right now. Let's taste this farm chicken. Mmm. That is really good with that gravy and it's so easy to do. I encourage you to do the same thing. Good luck.